And now we're up to World 7. The Pipe Maze at long last, folks. Here we go. Pipe Maze is a very difficult stage. There's a lot of pipes, <laughs> given the pun. But there's a lot of warp pipes that basically can take you places and basically take you nowhere. So we have to worry about where we go in this place. A lot of piranha plants in this stage. A lot of them. The fact that there is no Hammer Brothers in this stage either. What we have is piranha style stages. So we have to be worried about them because they're immovable. But they are affected by the uh, by the music box in case you don't want to mess with them. Oop. Take care of you. Take care of the Koopa out of that. And we're going to run. Fly up this way. Avoid all the platforming. And jump really high and get these coins. Like a soul. Yeah, baby! Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll be going, we'll be going longer. Negative, negative CPU is rating with six, with six viewers. Thank you very much. That was a kind of a shock on my end. <laughs> Thank you very much, negative CPU. We, uh, we, what's up, dude? Nothing too much. Just doing, uh, we're just, negative CPU, we're just playing some Super Mario Vance 4. With the added bonus of going for the uh, e uh, no, the e reader levels as well after we complete the main story. So let's go into uh... <laughs> now we have X Men of this. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. All right, we need to go into World Two. A level. I keep calling them worlds. I'm good at one point. I can just call them levels at one point. <laughs> but we need to use the frog suit for this level because this level. It gives us the blue mushroom house. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened if he had stopped on time. That is true, Ray. That is very true. Oh, dang it. Well, can't get the suit now. Curse that thing. I, oh, I don't like you. You. You're going to die. Here. I have a block for you. There you go. Without the frog suit, uh, getting the blue mushroom house on this level is impossible. So... <laughs> The blue mushroom house can only spawn by collecting all the coins. All the coins are down here. And there is a P-switch off to the left. But since I lost the, the, the suit, I can't get these coins in time. So as unfortunate as it sounds, but it, it would have given us a P-wing regardless, so... So we have to make this platform here with all these note blocks. And also the the uh, the pipe maze is sort of like a hodgepodge of levels, uh, level themes from all the worlds we've gone into at this point. So, well, hey, they hate to raid and clip, but we need to see if have an awesome stream. Thank you very much, negative CPU. Thank you very much. You guys have a good night. All right, so now we're back to the we'll go back to the game here. It's weird how level 2 is a desert theme. Oh, there's actually a there's actually a one-up right there. I did not know that. <laughs> See, you learn you new new stuff every time. Huh. Oh boy. Ah! You wanna get hit by all these <laughs> piranha plants? And you, <laughs> you die too. Oh, come on. I thought I was close enough. <laughs> there we go, and jumping down like so. We have 10 viewers. <laughs> This is all very... This is all new. Thank you all for being here, folks. Really appreciate it. Alrighty. Up to the next level, please. We got Mario up. Zoop. Uh, for those who just joined in the uh, from the raid here, we are playing through. We're perfecting every world in the main story of, of this version of the game. Um, but also, after the story done, we will be doing the e-reader levels. A, lo a, a sort of a playthrough that I don't see very much happen, so... In this level, in this stage here... Oh, I missed it. Well, I'm not getting any more stars out of that one. Uh, this stage here, if you collect and keep having the star power up, 
you do get uh, more uh, Starman to appear. Oh no, oh, and Mario got doomed. <laughs> okay, that's only um, second death <laughs> in the entire run so far. So we'll have to uh, keep our toes here for Luigi. Pray for Luigi. He's going in here black. He's going in here hot. There we go. All right, let's do this bad boy. Oop. Get this star man here. Oop. Keep the star man going. Hit this block here, and we get another star man. Just like so here. Oh, come on, Luigi! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why is it gonna be this level? It's world Level 4 is what's gonna give you the most trouble. Alright. Luigi can't. Mario. Luigi can't do it. Mario, you're gonna have to jump. You have to pick up the sack again. Okay, let's go! Oh, come on. The star name goes that way now? Really? There we go, got that star man there. We hit this block here to give it our star man. And we get that fire flower, because we're definitely gonna need it. And there's some coins here. I don't know if there's actually anything above these coins though. Let's get away from this lack of two before it dooms us all. BAM! All right, we got another one up for us. Kind of died three lives there, but you know, on oh, Luigi's automatically getting the next uh, memory game. <laughs> right, let's go. No, okay. Uh, let's see, where are we going here? Stars. Always good use stars. More stars for everyone. And those coins didn't match. <laughs> All right, we need fire flower for this. That's weird. They actually turn into hearts. Now I'm not sure as to why they met. Oh, they got a leaf now. Holy! Wow! I did not notice that. The uh, the root well actually changed into hearts, and now the star man has now been set has now been changed to actually being a leaf. Oh, it only happens one time. And Copper, Cabell, you have to head out and get ready for the virus under dome, which work. <laughs> have a good stream. Thank you very much. Hope you have a good night, my friend. Now we're off to world, uh, we're up to, off to world uh, level four, which has an auto score, which also has our returning favorite fish, Big Bertha, to appear. Also have these really weird blue cheap cheeps, which are have hair on them. <laughs> which is kind of weird. They move up and down in a sort of a small arc pattern. There's our famous fish. Ah, no. But also this level is infamous. Oh, oh wow, I'm surprised I did not get hurt there. Now you go away. I'm not interested. Why would you just swim away? There's much more water over everywhere else. So you have to deal with this. This is a kill run. I hate this level. Because also there's Big Bertha as well in this place. Luckily, in these stages, they, she's not interested in eating you. She'd rather be useful just, you know, spreading out her her child out of her mouth constantly. Which is kind of gross, <laughs> to be honest. There you go, over here. Okay, so now we got a fire flower. We're actually be pretty, we should be good for the rest of the stage now. Well, we'll probably be completing the story tonight, and then next session we'll be doing the e-reader levels. And that might that might be a short session. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. All right, we're out of that out of that monstrosity. <laughs> Another star for us, baby. Da -da -da -da. All right, now we're on to level five, which is a sort of a prison level. Uh, let's see, what do I have? 
Have to go into Super Mario. <laughs> Level 5 is all about a prison. As you can see in the background, is there a prison cell or bars everywhere in the windows? But we have to be—we have to do uh, complete a set of sort of tasks around us here. If uh, if you don't complete a certain amount of tasks, you probably will not get passed through this stage very easily. Right, these bob bombs. You see all these small platforms here—they all have little hidden blocks into them. If we go up this pipe here, this is the only pipe that allows us to get through. If we want to go down here, I want this thing. I think this will give me a wing. Yes, it will. Thank you very much. Just what Mario needed. That's right. Da -da -da. Go back up this pipe again. Da -da -da -da. We can break this block here for a shortcut. There we go. Take care of you. We want to take, we want to go through here with Wing and hopefully have enough energy to complete this. No, we don't. Okay. Because we need to bring up this bridge here. If we don't, we can't get across it. Now, if you can keep your own momentum and go through a pipe, then you can possibly get through that spot with a, a Wing Cat or with the Raccoon Suit or Tanuki Suit, respectively. We grab these coins there. There's a lot of hidden coins everywhere, folks. This is supposed to be a few, a huge pipe maze, so every level is going to have some type of pipe mazery doohickey and such in these levels. Right, up this pipe we go, and we will continue on to the exit of the stage! Booyah! And now we can get another, uh, Toad House. But uh, Luigi, I think Luigi needs it. Luigi has more star men than anything else. All right, let's grab this one in the middle, and we get a Tanuki suit. Yes, and we might actually will have to use that soon. So I believe yes, we are actually going. Oh, I did not get to uh, that mushroom house. Need to head back. Let's head back this way. Head back into this pipe here. Slide down this hill. And then we can join into this mushroom house right here. Kind of missed this one. And a fire flower. Always useful. Always useful. Surprised I have so many stars. <laughs> I gotta go up this hill. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Up the hill and back through the pipes again. Do, 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 do. More pipes, more fun. Let's go to another pipe. We're just going, we're just going, we're just jumping pipes today, folks. We're just jumping pipes, going through pipes, going everywhere. Now we're gonna deal with the unique uh, enemy of this stage. We have piranha plant stages. So these replace the Hammer Brothers in this world. So they're a bit annoying. We have pincers here that come out of the small pipes here in random intervals. Or at least in a, in a pattern-like fashion. Ah! But these levels are quite uh, pretty easy. All you have to do is get to the end and you can jump down the pipe and you get a reward. Just like any other Hammer Brothers stage. And we get a P-Wing for the first one. There is a second one in this level and it will, and it's not just, it's not very much annoying really. Now if Mario with his wing, with his uh, raccoon suit, we are now going uh, to go to what is considered to be by many to be called the Coin Fortress. This level has no enemies in it, but it has plenty and plenty of coins. If I can find the P-switch, which is supposed to be right here, there it is. Hit this P-switch and look, everything turns to coins. Grab as many coins as you can, and repeat this at nauseum until you're done with everything. And that is it for the coin fortress. That's all there is to it. Now when you get into this door here, you enter this so-called little chamber. What you want to do, the stage is a little bit weird. You need to jump up high, and then hopefully the, hope the goodness you find a great pipe up in the sky. 
Doing so will get you to Boom Boom. Otherwise, Earth the Sage just technically loops. So it is technically one of the easiest stages, but also can be the one that can be the most confusing in order to actually try to find the boss. If you're not sure what to look for. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And that fortress is down. We won't save here. All right. Let's move on to level six. Okay, so sometimes the <clears throat> I wonder what the wing. I wonder what the wing. Uh... Like we saw before, we had the heart variant of this, which would allow us to get uh, the wing one. I wonder, does that give like a ten up? I would imagine so, because it's because that would be it's more unique than the Starman. Like the Starman gives you you know a five up, but does the wing give you like ten up? That'd be something to know. I might have to look that up in a wiki to figure out what that does, because I have never seen that before. But this uh, world level six introduced to the elevator block. We saw you could potentially see this, uh, <clears throat> I believe, in world four, I think, as a uh, particular sub area. But this is where we see these elevator lifts first. As soon as you step on them, they will be active for a certain amount of time and will go into the direction that the arrow is pointing. But if you see ones right here with a question mark block on them, every time you jump on them, you can basically change their direction. But they will, but if you, uh, if you uh, run out of space for them to go through, they will just basically just blink out of existence. And if they're on for long enough, they will phase out. So make sure you can jump to the next elevator block as soon as you can. Why weren't these placed in Mario Maker 2? This would have been a cool block to use. I mean, there's a lot of blocks they could have used since they love Mario 3 so much. They could have put. There's a lot of blocks they could have put in here. Like this style. Like the, even this this graphical style, I think, could have been used for Mario 3. Really, to be honest. I like this graphical style, but what do you guys in chat think about it? I know I mentioned, I was saying this before, uh, earlier in the stream, <laughs> like if you like this graphical style or not, but I like this graphical style. This is what I think Mario 3 should look like. But people hunger for, uh, you know, they cling to the classics, that they want to have the NES graphics because that's what they grew up with. Jump up this way. Up to level 7. I believe this is the stage where is the pincer run. Yes, this is. This level is infinite for a lot of different things. But this one you need to get to keep the Starman going. Let the Starman get closer up to us. Come on. There we go. You have to keep hitting Starman constantly. And I think this stage has actually been made easier. I think in the other version that was a little bit trickier. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Oh, no. I got a duck under it. There we go. Booyah! Done and dusted, folks. Booyah! Yeah, that's like I would say that was probably the hardest stage in this world, just because of how annoying if you run out of a star man for it. <laughs> Let's go. Level eight, baby. Here we go. Level eight has a very annoying. This is the stage for these the little uh, baby pincers, whatever these those, those little plant plants that are not in that are not in pipes do. These guys. Hate these guys. Gonna hunker down here so I can go behind the wall. Walk beyond this. Walk behind here. So I can get around these uh, patooies. I think that's what these those enemies are called. The piranha plants that have the spike ball attached to them. But uh, yeah, these patooies, they're really annoying. But what's even more annoying is... Ugh, these guys right here. Yeah, for some reason, these enemies right here, they just spew out fire. For no reason. And it's the only time they do that. 
Like, why? <laughs> Shouldn't all of them do that? Because that would be great, but no. <laughs> it's, that, that's the only enemy that does that. And it's such conflicting, too. It's like, why? <laughs> Alright, more lives, more fun, if we can get lives. Toad, you need to stop being so stingy with these uh, lives. Come on, we need to save the world, you know. Yeah, but that won't not save the economy, Mario. <laughs> All right, time for level nine, a literal pipe maze. In a desert theme, with the pipe motif. And I could get a fire flower, but I would like to have the wings, please. I like to fly. You have to figure out the pathway through the pipe maze. If you enter into an area that gets you to coins, that is technically a dead end. So if you don't go to the coins, you'll be perfectly fine. I'm gonna jump through here, go this way, grab these uh, grabber blocks, and we jump up this way. Oh yeah, just like a soul. Oh yeah, take care of those. Sorry if my commentary hasn't been the best right now, because it's like, it's just grab this, grab this, throw this, jump down right here, and go through the level. <laughs> For those watching, if you want to start up a uh, conversation or tangents, be more well, I'd be willing to join in. In those as well. And more, uh, th that card game showed up again. <laughs> well, Luigi, time for you to join, use it. You gotta flip more cards over. Fire flower, fire flower. That's a one up. Starman. I think I hit those same two things again. <laughs> I think I did the same problem twice. <laughs> Alright, this time we're gonna get our Tanuki on for the second fortress. This is the lava fortress. Lava pipes, I would say. Because they have boos, which are very annoying, and the and the and the platforms are not the Easiest to get around, Luigi. No. Yeah. Prime Pass like I got him. Yeah, I got him. And I just wasted a Tanuki leaf on that Mario. Go in there and destroy them all. Ooh. Oh, come on, go back down. Oh boy. Here we go. Uh. I wish that boo wasn't there. Go away, boo! <laughs> no one likes you! Oh, dang it, why I was keep jumping? I was seeing... Oh, there's a star man here. Take care of that. Ooh, goodness, I clipped. <laughs> okay, gotta get ready for that piranha plant to go down. This is gonna make it much harder now because I don't have a wingsuit. Come here, you prana plant. Really? The timing of that is annoying. Just what, yeah, just what I needed. Now I gotta get rid of this swamp to go down. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, jump that way. Now we gotta make a very awkward jump. <sighs> really? Oh well, we got through it at least. Hopefully, I don't die now. Oh, we got watch out for the dry bones. They like to uh, show up at right here. I think there's two of them. Let them walk this way further, and I don't have to worry about them for the rest of the stage. Ooh. Let that thwomp go down. Jump like so. I got to deal with Boom Boom with Small Mario. This will be fun. Oh, that was close. Yeah! Woo, 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 woo! All the boom booms are gone from the kingdoms. Not bad at all. Nope, don't save. In case this, in case something messes up on stream, I don't want to have to redo the that sector. All right, Luigi, it's time for you to take down the other uh, plants. The plant stage. Huzzah! Oh boy, that was close. 
Gotta watch out for these uh, piranha plants that can shoot fire, because they're gonna be the ones that are gonna be ruining your day. I find this stage a lot easier than the first one, which is odd. And that gives us a mushroom for our troubles! Booyah! Alright, time to get some power-ups here. Dun, dun, dun. Tanuki Mario, let's go, let's save the world! Oh, it's terrible! The king has been transformed to a Yoshi! Quickly! Change him back! Get the wand back or I might become an egg! Okay, uh, sure. Oh, but what's a Yoshi? I don't know! It made me look like this thing! Okay, whatever, let's go! <laughs> we gotta turn the Yoshi back into a king! Let's go and do this! And we're gonna be, uh, going up against Ludwig as the boss of this place. Ludwig is considered to be the head honcho of the Koopalings. Woo! There we go. In the NES version, you could actually kill the fire by turning into Tanuki uh, Metal Form Mario. By doing that, but I guess in this version, they actually fixed that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm being a little too jumpy for my liking. <laughs> and we got more of these. Get out of here. So you can use that. Oh. Okay, let's get pushed. <laughs> there we go. Kind of failed at that point, but whatever. But Ludwig's ship, though, uh, airship, decides to be a little bit of a, not just one ship, but many little mini-ships. He is a head honcho, after all. And he only expects to get more more airships than anyone else. So we need to watch out for the timing of this jump here. Because we now have to do a little bit of a spring jump. A little screw jump here, just so we can get across this spot a little bit better. Oh yeah! Wish I had my Tanuki suit, but I kind of lost it. <laughs> whoop, whoop. There we go. Jump over that. And I, you do not get any power-ups for this either, so now we're going to have to take on Ludwig. Macho to macho, man to man. Okay, Ludwig, time to take you down. Let's go! Ludwig will act exactly like Roy. He will throw his weight around. And he is very aggressive. Booyah! Haven't died to a coo to a coupling once this entire playthrough, baby. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And World Seven is done, folks. Huzzah! And we got a Viking! Uh -huh. Yoshi was turned to a Viking. Oh, splendid sp <coughs> I am back to my old shelf again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. It's got a weird seal on it. A weird one? What would it say? <laughs> Yo! I kidnapped the princess while you're running around. <laughs> She's here in my castle. If you die and try and rescue her. <laughs> King of the Koopa. That prick? L Luigi, come on! We have to save the princess! Bowser kidnapped her while we will turn the wrong way! Okay, <laughs> maybe if we save her, maybe she'll tell me I'm Luigi, not Green Mario. <laughs> so, we're at World 7's done. Off to the last world, folks.